Brazil is an increasingly popular holiday destination, especially the northeast with its idyllic beaches just a few hours' flight from Europe. In the coastal town of Natal, tourism has been booming in recent years. Tourism is important in the state of Rio Grande do Norte, in particular for Natal. In the state, it's the second biggest industry after oil, but in Natal, it's the main activity and the main employer, both directly and indirectly. So it's an industry that must be preserved. Before the 1990s, Natal was visited by around 300 to 400,000 tourists each year. Today, we're getting more than 2.2 million. But in fact, there are two Brazils. One is ultra-modern and developed, and the other is poor. Então esses dois Brasis, eles são muito these two Brazils are in conflict with each other and they exist in parallel. Tourism in Natal influences these two Brazils in different ways. It brings in economic resources which benefit the developed Brazil, which can then develop even more. The effect of tourism on the third world Brazil is much more pernicious because it's predatory. In the 1970s and 1980s, Brazil sold itself as a tourist destination, stressing its exotic lifestyle, carnival and partying. Men from elsewhere can forget about the moral restraints in their lives back home. Miami Beach, with its skyscrapers and surfers, illustrates this image all too well. Nearby is the shanty town known as Africa, where girls and boys dream of a better, easier life. When these two worlds collide, the result is often the exploitation of vulnerable youngsters. Aí você alia, né? Esses dois fatores, né? O fator do exotismo da viagem. You combine these two factors, the freedom of a trip when you leave your home background to go to a place where you have no link with the community, together with the image that's been sold of sexual liberation, flexibility, laxity. You add to these two factors social inequality, which is a serious problem in Brazil, and you create an explosive mix which favors this sort of exploitation. Now age 22, this young woman has been exploited by tourists since she was 12. Amid broken dreams and low self-esteem, she became a prostitute. They said they'd find me a gringo, a foreign man for me, a gringo who'd look after me, but he left and never came back. There are not the same opportunities in the two Brazils. Near the Africa shantytown, the day is beginning at the dull state school. The pupils have been waiting in vain for their first lesson to start because the teacher hasn't arrived. For me, it's bad. You've seen that the door is broken. The kids are playing with a ball and hitting the teachers. We were promised physical education classes, but up until now there's been nothing. Vassania lives in Africa. She's a social worker. Here in Africa, this is the only school. There was another place in another street, but when they built this school, they took everything from there for here. But here, there are no classes. All the children, are you studying? No. Are you enrolled here? Without schooling and with little family supervision, a child can easily be tempted by what may seem to be a better life. I was going out. I didn't say anything to my parents. I said that I was going to a party at a friend's house, but they thought I was up to no good. At that time, I believed what I was doing was right. But when I arrived home... When I saw my mother's face after lying... 
que eu. I put my head in the pillow and I cried because I didn't want my life to be like that. There are also European tourists who say that little is being done by the Brazilian government to discourage young girls from selling themselves. Here they, they start to talk with you when you sit anywhere on a terrace in a shopping mall. They start talking to you. They, they quite, uh, you can get quite easy into contact with Brazilian women. Often they drift into exploitation to help the household, to bring in money for food, to help their brothers and sisters, and also sometimes to support their parents' addictions. So when someone says, ah, oh, they're playing around, they're coming to talk to me. You have to see what lies behind that. And above all, like anywhere else in the world, abusing someone under 18 is sexual exploitation. She can't decide. She doesn't have the necessary conditions. Her personality is still developing. Adult prostitution is not considered a crime in Brazil, although the law is firm when it comes to abuse or sexual exploitation of a minor. From July this year, under a new law, a prison sentence of up to 10 years can be imposed for paid sexual relations with a minor, that's to say someone under 18 years old. And from now on, the pimp, as well as the client, can be prosecuted. Diana, that's her work name, heads an association for prostitutes in Natal. Noting that more young girls are getting involved there, she's trying to raise their awareness and put them off. Prostitution, which isn't a crime. Well, for me, everything you have to go through to survive is a crime. It's all a crime for me. Life is a crime. The establishment, the lack of opportunities, all of that is a crime. As consequências que eu considero mais graves. In my view, the most serious consequences of abuse and sexual exploitation are that they hijack the natural development of sexuality and the sexual freedom itself of these children and teenagers. A lack of opportunities, a lack of means and support, obstacles which continue to divide the two Brazils shattering so many young dreams.